What's up, everybody? We are back again with another NBA 2K21 video. Now, today I wanted to go ahead and do something a little different, and I wanted to do our first Tyler Hero build in NBA 2K21. So, there was a few ways that you can actually make this build. I know a lot of people are making him as a sharpshooter. Some are making him as a play shot. Some are making him as a scoring machine. Some are making him as a facilitating uh, sharpshooter. Like, there's so many different ways that you could do, but we all can agree that Tyler Hero got that shot on him, all right? So today's video, today's build is going to be nothing less than an ultimate all-time shooter all right so if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell for your boy so you guys will be notified for all of my future videos now we will be live streaming the rep grind for the next gen all on all the way until we get legend all right on twitch follow me on twitch twitch link will be down below in the pinned comments and also on the bottom of the screen okay follow us on twitch and uh, if you guys want to get, you know, more updates and whatnot, then follow us on Twitter as well. But let's go ahead and get into this build, all right? So first things first, we already see that our position is, of course, going to be the shooting guard position. Shooting guard is where it's at this year, in my opinion. So shooting guard, handed, is going to be right. Jersey number 14, it really doesn't matter, but jersey number, because, you know, it's whatever number you want. But shooting guard is where we are going. Now, I know a lot of people are going to choose the pure green pie chart. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? I think this is, nah. People, you know, people are going to choose the pure green pie chart. But me, I'm choosing this pie chart right here where we get majority green. So we will have the opportunity to have Hall of Fame green badges. So Hall of Fame shooting badges and then some gold playmaking badges so there's one thing that i hate the most about these builds is because yes he's a like he's a lights out shooter but i don't want to just sit and hover the three-point line with this with this player build you feel me so if you guys see him play see his highlights he can handle the ball a little bit they trust him with the ball in his hands so it's only right that you're you know able to get those pro dribbles it's only right that you can shoot you can create your own shot you can go just lights out, right? So this is exactly how I made the build right here. This pie chart right here, majority green, and then a little bit of playmaking. So now we have to go ahead and choose our physicals, and I chose to keep it kind of consistent, and I wanted the speed physical, all right? So everything about this build that you're going to see even later in this video is all based on pretty much speed i want the speed i want to be one of those guards that it's kind of you know it's kind of tricky to guard me all right so we want to go ahead with the speed pie chart and that's the first pie chart and now we have to set our potentials now when it comes to our potentials i did decide to go with a close shot at an 88 and then a driving layup at a 77 because he can finish around the rim it's probably not the most flashiest dunking on your center type of you know finishing but he does still finish at the rim those layups we gonna need all that so we did put the driving dunk to a 32 we really don't care too much about the driving dunk but when it comes to our shooting this is exactly what we do care about so when it comes to the mid-range shot it's going to be a 91 our three-point shot is going to be an 89 our free throw is going to be a 93 and then our post fade is going to be a 78, giving us 27 shooting badges. This is way more than you actually need on this build. So expect some greatness coming out of these Hall of Fame badges. We will get to the badges very soon though, all right? So when it comes to our playmaking, we do want to be able to control the tempo of the game. We also want to be able to create our own buckets. We don't just want to be just a spot up. Yes, we can use this build as a spot up, but if, you know, your other guard is getting taken out the game by a perimeter lock, guess what? You can still just have all to say so and just control the tempo of the game still. So pass accuracy is going to be an 85 as your ball handling is going to be maxed out to an 82, giving us 18 playmaking badges. Now pay attention because these playmaking badges are definitely going to come in handy later on in the video, all right? So what is a build in NBA 2K21 that can't play defense, bro? You do not want a build that can't play a lick of defense. So I got you guys right here. So perimeter defense, we're going to go ahead and max that to a 74. 
our interior is just going to be a 36 our lateral quickness is going to be a 73 our steals is going to be a 78 our blocking is going to be a 51 offensive rebound a 54 and as our defensive rebound is going to max out at a 65 we at least needed seven okay at least needed seven defensive badges you can't really get too much more without you know costing either your shooting badges or your playmaking i really like how the playmaking and the shooting is so we're going to keep it just like that you will still be able to play defense you know play the passing lanes spam the passing lanes and you're going to come up with steals like it, it's really not that hard but if you guys well as you guys can see our badge upgrade totals are going to be one finishing 27 shooting 18 playmaking and seven defensive slash rebounding badges that is great that is great that is more than what we need all right so we're going to go crazy with this build i love the badge totals on this build and we about to just cook it up all right so now we got to get into our next step which is our body shape now as a guard i usually do always go defined as a guard or built so for this video we're going to just go ahead and continue to go defined and then for our height we definitely don't want to make him six foot four as the guard if you guys like smaller players then by all means go ahead and i definitely did not want to make him six six just because that shooting is not I mean, it's still lit, but we would have to go at least to a 99 to get a 93 pointer. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't, I don't know. And then we gotta work a little bit harder to get the the pro dribbles. I'd rather have the pro dribbles just right off go. So six foot five is where we're going with pro dribbles. We unlock those at about about an 80, I believe. So we'll start off with an 80 two and i like it so we're gonna go ahead to our weight now when it came to the weight i did decide to go 188 pounds give us a little bit more speed and um we only get taken down in a little bit of strength and then also one interior defense which we're fine we have bigs that we're running with so we really don't need to go too crazy in the interior defense so 188 and then for our wingspan i did decide to go with 80.6 we are going to have a 90 overall three-point shot off rip, a 92 mid-range off rip. I love it. I love it. 82, so we'll be able to get our dribbles right. We'll still be able to shoot lights out. I love it, bro. I love it. So when we finish everything, our ball handling will be in about an 86. Our three-point shot will be a 94. Now, this is, this is crazy, all right? This is crazy. We still aren't done, though. The only two takeovers that I would actually recommend you guys to use is, of course, if, you're, if we're making a Tyler Hero build, you might need that spot-up shooter, or you can use the shot creating. However you guys choose to use this build, it is completely up to you, okay? It is completely up to you, but for this video, we're going to use the spot-up shooter, giving us that plus 10 in our mid-range and also our three-point shot, all right? So we're going to go ahead and just go crazy. Now we see that we successfully made a playmaking shot creator. Now we're gonna go ahead and test this build out. I'm just gonna show you the, the badges that I would choose to put on this build. If you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you guys. Make sure that if you did make it this far, leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. It'll help the channel grow and um, we'll just be lit, all right? So we're going to go ahead and go into our finishing badge, our only finishing badge, I guess, we can go ahead and just put maybe like acrobat on bronze maybe it, it really doesn't matter our shooting badges this is where it gets a little fun all right so we need to start off with at least gold hot zone hunter is different you need hall of fame you need range extender come on it's tyler hero uh tyler shooter we're gonna go ahead with that corner specialist will be able to be lights out in the corner now if you chose the the um the shot create and takeover of course you would probably need difficult shots we can we can deal with flexible on silver and then maybe volume shooter on silver and then we'll go in with the catch and shoot we'll go in with the dead eye and then we can go crazy with maybe the corner specialist hall of fame but there we go there we go we can either go corner specialist hall of fame or just a volume shooter if you plan on taking a lot of shots it's completely up to you but i think volume shooter on silver should be straight 
if you got catch and shoot and corner specialist and range extender and hot zone hunter and dead eye working all in the same play bro you you should probably green that shot all right you should probably green that shot but these are the uh the shooting badges that i would choose to put on this build we're going to go ahead and get over to our playmaking badges which of course it's going to be kind of easy all right so we're going to go ahead with our quick first step we got to go with our unpluckable we got to go with our we can go bailout space creator of course so we can create our own shots handles for days we're definitely going to need that um let's see what else we got here you could do a little uh it, it's kind of up to you i'm kind of going to unpluckable gold then maybe just tight handles i think that's what we're going to go with so all gold playmaking badges which will be just fine you guys of course when you unlock everything you can change the badges however i'm pretty sure you don't need a goal unpluckable but as a guard i kind of would want that but um you know hey test them out test out all these badges especially when it comes to the nba 2k21 next gen we're gonna have to test out all these badges all over again anyway so you might as well test these badges out see what you like what helps you and you know your game but these are the badges that i would choose if i was playing with this build today okay so now we got to go to our defending which is very easy i gotta go clamps i gotta go intimidator and then we can go with a bronze interceptor that is easy okay easy we're going to be playing the passing lanes even if you wanted to go with a silver and silver that is completely fine it is up to you guys and how comfortable you guys are going to be with this build but i'm comfortable with being in the passing lane and you know i got interceptor on bronze help me out a little bit and intimidator and also on clamp so i can get those cut off so these are all the badges, and this is the build. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this build down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like for your boy. I would really appreciate that. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, or if you guys have yet to subscribe, then make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell for your boy. Become a part of the PY PYC family today, bro. All right, don't, don't miss out. We will be grinding all over again on Twitch. We will be grinding for top reps. So I don't want you guys to miss out on anything over there. Videos, just follow me on Twitch. All right, follow me on Twitch. Link is down below in the pinned comments. And also you can find that link down below in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.